Now it is time to solder those uh, very small parts. And uh, can you see them? Of course you can. These are the components right here. <laughs> They're really, really small. I'm going to hold one on my finger, so maybe you can see it better. So, of course, the camera cannot focus on these, so I'm going to go under the lens. So, these are resistors. These are the ones we use on uh, all the co all the products we make, 0603. Uh, smaller than this, you probably have problems. But if you're making your own, so don't don't even go that small. So, this is how you do it. Um, let's see. So, we have this, and I'm going to use my finger. Usually these, uh, the parts stick on the, uh, um, on your finger, so you can just touch the part with your finger and it will stick. And then just let it go right on the board. Now, um, same as the trick I did before. Remember the trick I did where I put solder on one side and I fixed the other? So it doesn't matter if this is upside down. It doesn't make a difference. You can spend time try, trying to flip the parts in the correct way, but that's so not important. So what I do is I uh, put some solder on one of the sides. So we have solder. And I push the parts. Oops, come back. Push the part here and hold it with the solder and the iron at the same time while I'm heating the solder up on this side. See, it's the part, the solder flowed and the part was trying to stand up and I pushed it down with the solder. Now the solder is really, um, when it melts, it's really, um, it's like a glue, it's, it's, it sucks the part in so the part wouldn't go anywhere once you put solder on one side. So that's solder on one side, now I need solder on the other side. I'm going to rotate this a little bit so I can reach it. So tip, solder, Oh, it's very difficult because I'm trying to tape and have this lens in my face. Okay, so we got both sides. Uh, let me double check. Yep, that's good. Now, um, I waited for last to do the uh, the chip. Usually, you don't want to wait till last. I put some parts just so the port the board looks more exciting. So when I do it, I'm not so bored. But uh, you want to do this chip before anything is surrounding it. So you don't want this here, this is too far, but you do definitely do, want, do not want this capacitor soldered. You don't want this resistor here. You want it free all around. You place it in, then you can do the rest of the parts. So how do you place this chip on? So I grabbed one of the uh, USB Easy chips, and now we need to make sure the orientation is correct. See the circle here? This is a, this is a, um, th this is how you know where pin one is. So this is pin one. So we need to do the same on the chip. If you look on the chip, there's three circles. There's none here. There's one, two, three. This one is a, looks a little bit different. So this is the one. Usually there's only one circle or one little hole on the board, and this is the same as that. But over here, this chip happened where there's three. So and this looks a little bit different. Even if it's not different, this is probably the um, the uh, pin number one. So this is the right orientation. I'm not going to use the solder iron to push on the pins because there's solder on the pins. I don't want to get it on the on the pads. So we had uh, we had to adjust a little bit because the um, the light was reflecting on the lens, and you can see. So um, I was saying that you need to use your fingers or the solder or or anything to move the chip. Don't use the soldering iron because you don't want to get the solder on the uh, these uh, little pins on the uh, on the chip or the legs or whatever you prefer to call them. So get it roughly in place, okay? You're not going to get it perfect. So this is how it should be. You're, you're good to go. And now you grab um, the thick solder, again, not the thin one, and the tip. And what I'm going to do first is put some solder on the tip, okay? And then I'm going to tap it out somewhere to get that solder off. Why do I do this? I want to get it all clean and shiny. Uh, don't use the stuff that they usually use to clean the tip. The, uh, there's flux inside the solder built in, so if you just do this, you get into this habit, you get some solder and see the, all the fume coming out, that's the flux. So, and tap it, it's clean, perfect. That's what I need. Now, 
um, I come to the board and what you need to do is what we exactly what we did with this with the regulator voltage regulator before push the chip out just slightly and very gently this is the critical part very gently try put some solder on the tip and come close with the tip to the very first pad see there's no solder, there's no exposed copper here so i'm okay i can touch the board okay but i want to come close and get some solder on the very first pin and i can tell because i can see it shiny sticking up a little bit yeah i can tell there's some solder on it right now so I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure you can't see it there's no way this camera can focus that far but um trust me on that i use the very first pin there's some solder on it so now if i push the chip down right next to the pin uh come on yeah, this is much easier if i'm not taping here come on Come on, baby. Okay, sometimes you have to talk nice to the chips and they work. So, um, the chip is in place. Now I'm going to do the same trick I did before. I put some solder on here, hold the co one corner with the um, w with the uh, solder, and the other corner with the soldering iron. But now, since I have solder on it, guess what? The very first pin on the chip is getting soldered on it, and I try to get the chip in place. Now remember how the ch the solder is like glue. Okay, usually I use magnifier on my eyes and I get closer so I can do it better. But see, it's in place now. See, it's not coming out. So I only have one pin soldered on the chip. 